ReasonConf is brought to you by our gold sponsors, Ahrefs and Chain Street. Uh, so, yeah, I'm Tomasz and I work on Code Heroes. I'm leading the front end team here. Uh, this is my Twitter handle, so I can f you can follow me. Uh, and I want to share with you a quick story of our like journey with ReasonML over the six months, uh, where like our full uh, front end team is working with Reason. So we are like product software house from Krakow, Poland, and we are around 12 people right now, and four to five front end developers. It depends how you can, uh, if you count our CTO or not. And uh, when we started using Reason, basically in August, uh, we had this. We have we have this product uh, which is called Chatbotize, which is uh, uh, which allows you to. Uh, create like chatbot experience for Facebook Messenger. And we started doing it in uh, JavaScript and Flow. Uh, but we decided to try Reason uh, for the free plugins uh, listed here. And uh, it really worked for us. So one uh, plugin for in part particular, uh, which is like workflow pl plugin, which allows you to create some like graph of your flow with chatbot like it's really complex stuff and uh, it's not uh, it's like just to be there because it's not our main use case to uh, allow users to use that because most of our plugins is like uh, are uh, as here presented uh, form based to because it's easier to uh, for 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 users to define the uh, the, the chatbot experience uh, if they are, if they have no uh, technical background at all. Uh, so then, in October, uh, we had to write the uh, mobile app for our client and the web dashboard to manage that application. And yeah, why not in Reason? So uh, the project uh, is called Pelvifly. Uh, it's an application to help women uh, to exercise their, their pelvic muscles. And we create the mobile application uh, where you have the Bluetooth connected device and you can exercise uh, and you have daily like trainings and reports and you can contact your uh, like um, personal coach and stuff, all stuff uh, like that. And it really, really wor worked for us. And then uh, at the end of this project, uh, we had to create more projects, yeah. So, and re, re, at this point, we, we knew that Reason really worked for us, and everyone at uh, our front end team is familiar with Reason. So, let's do more. So, this is our next project we are working uh, right now. It's like customer support type of uh, application, uh, like that bugs the, uh, the, like the communication via uh, chatbot, for example, if chatbot is not enough. Uh, you, al you, you always have to provide the way to switch back to the user, uh, to, to, the, to the human, and talk with like some consultant. Uh, so we are working on that uh, right now. Uh, those are not like real screenshots because I wasn't able to like set up everything yesterday uh, and like pr create proper screens. So th those are mockups, but we are like really close to to that. And um, yeah, but there is more because like we create a lot of lot of like small things also so for example we have like small reprocessing game uh, that's that was over 20 uh, 20000 uh, games at this point was played here it's uh, available in like uh, one of our clients uh, m messenger so it's really really great to to have to have that and <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, and also we have uh, like this small web view based uh, game uh, where you ha where you are taking care of your plant and things like that. It's like also written in uh, in Reason, uh, not reprocessing this time, just like uh, Reason React, but it really works. And we also have a chat SDK uh, in for PWA and uh, React Native, and it's also in Reason, like everything right now at this point. And also we have a small React Native project for one of the biggest Polish banks at this point, but I cannot uh, tell you which one. <laughs> uh, and like this is our go-to stack 
probably. Uh, there is like more mm, mm, libraries we use and try to, uh, we try to, uh, to c contribute as much. I, I'm, I, I'm trying to, to help especially with GraphQL PPX because like, like everyone probably mentioned it like during this conference and it's like really important piece of technology that we, we, we like th that is really important for the whole community. But the other projects are really, really important. And like what really worked for us, I would say like basically everything. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like it, it, was, it, it was like really surprising how we switched from Flow and JavaScript to Reason full time. And like the whole team switched to, 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 the, to the Reason stack. And like we haven't had like bigger issues besides some like learning the language and finding the good documentation, which is like what could be better for us. It's like mostly documentation because at this point we have like, for example, one junior who he, he never like worked with JavaScript previously and now he's doing ReasonML and it would be, would be much, much better to like uh, give him a better, better documentation to the language, to the like buckle script, uh, yeah, buckle script, the whole like ecosystem, the, all the libraries. So we, um, it would like offload us from like helping him th that much. Uh, and yeah, basically that. And uh, we are starting Reason ML Krakow. So if you are in Krakow, like come and say hi. And yeah, thank you. That's all. Thank you.